All righty, welcome back. You are still hanging out with us right here on a Why in the Morning. Today being Entrepreneurship Tuesday, we've got you with lots of interesting conversations, like I always say, uh, fun and fun fair and laughter to kickstart your morning. You can plug in using the hashtag uh, Why in the Morning. That's everywhere on all our social media platforms. And you can also find us at Y254 channel. That's on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter as well. And remember on Instagram is Y254 underscore channel. And you can also find me at uh, Brian Sanko 101 everywhere on all social media platforms as well. And remember to stream in for free, by the way, on www.kbc.co.ke forward slash Y254. Good morning, welcome back. I'm Brian Sankwa, and joining me right live in studio with us today is Apollo Gola. We're going to talk about Matters, the Kenyan film acting and also the, the business as well. So if you want to know a few things about the industry, he's here to actually paint for us a picture as we also get to know him, his journey. He has featured in so many films. He has had the chance to work with the big wigs of the film industry as well as many other people that definitely you see on your screens and your billboards very often. He's here with us. And uh, on that note, good morning to you. Good morning to you, Brian. Thank you for coming through. Thank you for the invitation. I'm happy to be here. All right. We are meeting again on another <laughs> yes. different platform now. Yes. Uh, uh, the industry is small. It is. I wonder, the film industry and the TV industry, are they closer? Do you, well, do you feel like it's close, like people work in broadcast yeah. TV and the film acting as well? No, I, I, I think uh, the, the, since there are two different mediums, uh, I rarely meet the film guys but, uh, on, on uh, TV. TV. Right. you know, productions. Like uh, TV, TV, like what we're doing right now. Yeah, like what we do right now in front of the screen or behind the, uh, behind the screen. So uh, we have presenters who are actually actors. And yeah, definitely, uh, yeah. Have I met any? Nick Nell is one. Really, yeah. Yeah, but he, a he's a radio presenter, yeah? Right, yeah. Yeah, so we haven't met on radio, so that's an invitation. Nick. <laughs> I hope you're hearing <laughs> and watching. Yeah, and... Uh, right, yeah. yeah, so... Uh, you know, our industry have, has a lot of versatile people right. who can do radio, can do TV. So it, it's really not a surprise if I meet people who are on film and, and on and TV. And television as well. Bills have to be paid. Now, away, true, absolutely. Away from that, uh, if you're caught up in a situation or you've been put on a platform and you're told, hey, describe yourself. We are always seeing you Netflix shows. And now mm. tell us, please, who you are. If you were to actually tell a short story of who you are, how would you narrate that short story? Well, I'm a, I'm a simple young man, very ambitious, a huge dreamer. And uh, all in all, you know, a very prayerful person. I, I, I really, I really like, uh, you know, dedicating myself to the most high most who exactly. created us and uh, always uh, seek my purpose every time I wake up so that I can execute and, you know, just do the right thing. Uh, you know, just be good to people. Just, uh, just be a human being. So right. I, I have this, you know, I have passion for, you know, just doing good. And being, right. a, you know, just uh, in everything I touch, I have to, you know, give everything that it requires. Whether it's, you know, life, I have to live. If it's acting, I have. If it's uh, storytelling, I have to tell these stories honestly, so right. that it can be impactful to people out there. So, pretty much, I try to live as honest as possible. Wow, interesting this. And I love the fact that you also mentioned, you know, submitting yourself to. Uh, the most I got. Yes, God. Now, before we get into the film, uh, the film making business and acting as well, because yes. you're a professional actor who yeah. is already into the mainstream uh, business of it. Um, how how was your let's say how was your childhood growing up? Did you like get inspiration from your dad, your family? Ama, did you study it? Um, am I just something that happened to you and you're like, yeah, I'm gonna be an actor? And look here, you are yeah. so big, and you got it all going for you. Well, long story short, in terms of training, huge percentage of it, like 80% of it is self-taught. Because right. we all know uh, by then, by the time I was getting into the professional, you know, uh, uh, practice of acting, I would say I couldn't afford some of these, you know, film schools. And I don't think they were even existent in the, you know, 2007s, 2008. Right. Uh, so I, I, I couldn't afford them. And the only thing I could afford was bundles, you know, and, you know, some of these uh, resources that you could get uh, that are printed on books. 
and some of them are circulating them. So, you know, I'd, I'd read about the craft out, uh, you know, in these uh, um, material. So uh, right. it's self-taught and then thanks to YouTube, University of YouTube. University of YouTube. That's where I, I pretty <laughs> much, you know, learned uh, uh, my craft, you know, on um, master classes by, you know, Michael Caine and, then uh, you know, all these great coaches, acting coaches. I, I, I watched them and, you know, read about them. I um, then crossing, I, I really, High school. Worked under. so hard to it and prayed a lot and, uh, you know, brought right. my material together and applied for uh, other master classes like Balinali. Right. Balinali, which happens in Berlin. Right. And um, first attempt, I got it. First I, attempt? First attempt, I got it. Right. Yeah, that was after Nairobi Half Life. So you know, at least now yeah, I had a show. Although you also featured in Nairobi Half Life. I, yeah, I yeah. think that's what exactly put you on the map. And your yeah. character was really conspicuous. Would just talk about that a little bit before we get to the inspiration behind okay. the whole thing? So Mo 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 Mose is just like any other young person in, in, the, in this country who's very ambitious and artist. He, if, he's a, if he wants to be a rapper, then that's what he thinks is going to you know get him out uh, to the world that's uh, the, the 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 thing he's going to use to express himself so he's pretty much looking at you know being a musician but in between nairobi happens and right. and you know he has to you know make this quick money and he has these friends around him and boom he he has this group that you know they make quick money by you know getting car spare parts and selling them to you know um, wire and you make your money, you go about your life. But you know, siku uh, zamuizi, baini, it happened. And the funny thing, that when that film debuted, I was in high school. <laughs> That's I'm how that young old. I am. <laughs> <laughs> Look at me now. <laughs> Look at God. 2012. Yes, I was in high school. I could have been. Anyways, I was in high school. Oh, great. Long story short. Yeah. But I'm glad that I'm interviewing the person I watched. I yeah. was in high school. Oh, now, uh, let's get to inspiration. Um, yeah. The, the industry can be really mucky. It, it is. It's a turbulent field. It's competitive as well. You have uh, met people on the international platforms mm. as well that you have managed to work with. When that is happening, what is going on in your mind and in your life? Are you like, God, this is what I wanted? I mean, would you say it's because of hard work? Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's always about hard work and, you know, prayers and not just my prayers, but, you know, prayers of people who love me. That's parents, you know, grandparents, siblings, and most of it is pretty much just, you know, you have, you having to do the work. All right. There's no way around it. You have to do the work and you pretty much have to be very, very strategic about how you're doing your, uh, your work, which is, can be loosely translated to, you know, working smart. But, but I wish, I wish I, I met some of the people I met later on in the practice okay. because now I would have known how to, you know, where to work, uh, where and how to, you know, apply some skills so that, right. you know, it propels you further. But again, I appreciate the fact that I took the long route and it is day by day, it's, you know, uh, giving me good harvest. Like you know, the question you've just asked me, how does it make, make me feel every time I'm checking, you know, big achievements? It, it, it really is like it was worth it that's the feeling you know uh it was worth it that i stuck to this craft i stuck to whatever i believed in such that when i get a, when i get a booking for a film internationally i'm like geez this is the exact same dream i i had that right. i want to be one uh, one actually the best great uh, actors that this land has ever produced Amen. or even one of them yeah uh, and i have to work towards that and that's that has been my goal every time so right I keep on when when I check these uh, you know these boxes. It's always like, my goodness, I was right about uh, my dreams. So I'm I'm on the right trajectory. So right. yeah, I'm always I'm always just being surprised and and, and happy and full get a lot of fulfillment when I when you know I I, I score these uh, these goals. Right. Yeah, pretty much. So it, it, and uh, ins the inspiration comes from a very very. Um, naive yet rich right. dream you know because who knows man i mean you, I, I grew up in siaya <laughs> a, <laughs> a village in a village <laughs> yeah a village called uh, called mbaga 
right uh -huh. very far away from here and 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 nairobi first of all was like is like a dream it's a dream you know for you to even go to nairobi leave alone think about what you're going to do in nairobi that's it's like that's, the hollywood yeah. the holy grail of success Ex exactly so right. if you get to nairobi that's a tick for you and Absolutely. then you get to do something in Nairobi, oh my goodness, that's another achievement. Also, right. now I've ticked Nai coming to Nairobi, having to do something in Nairobi, what's next? Right. Oh, I have to be the next the big thing in the, right. in the uh -huh. craft. So now, mm -hmm. how do I get there? My goodness, it's a lot of work. When right. do I start? Start now. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so, so all the way from, it's not even, it didn't even start in 2007. It right. started all the way before I even uh, in, uh, joined high school. You said just school. your childhood years. So this is like a vision that was nurtured? I'd say from yes. From the young Paul to yes. now. Yeah. I grew up. I grew up with it because uh, from uh, primary school, I was just you know dancing tr these traditional dances. Right. There was no acting in uh, my primary school. Then okay. when I went to high school, that's when I met acting professionally for the first time. Okay. And now I could now articulate what I really want to do, which right. is performing and acting. Right. And and and. Uh, leaving high school, I knew where I was going, which was in Nairobi and the group that I was going to join. I knew that I'm, I'm, uh, once I arrive in Nairobi, I'm going to join Galaxy Players, which is a church-based acting group in um, Jericho, St. Yeah. Philip's Jericho Church. Right. Went there and I was welcomed by uh, the then chairman, Anton Indongo. He's actually one of the actors uh, on uh, Nairobi Half-Life. He played WAF. So right. yeah, he welcomed me and uh, he was like, yeah, come, come perform you know, hone your skills, let's uh, do great things, and here we are. Yeah, and I love the fact that you, along your journey, you've had people who have given you opportunities yeah. and platforms, because it's not easy. It's not. Uh, there's a lot of people who, who might take even more than the years you took to yeah. actually become a person like you yeah. in, in, in that field. Mm. Now, let me just uh, read a little bit of your description. Okay. Um, you are an award-winning actor, a two-time nominated at the International Kalasha Film and TV Awards and recently selected as a genre for the International Emmy Awards 2022 this year. And behind the scenes, you told me that you'll be traveling to States for yeah. it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Just uh, talk about that and how, how much it means to you now in your journey as well. Yeah, well, uh, it, it's, an, it's an honor, a huge one, to be uh, selected to be 2022's International Emmy Awards uh, juror. Right. The process, uh, the person who actually contacted me, I had to ask him uh, what, uh, how did he, how did, how did he find me? Right. And he, from he, Hollywood? Contacted you from Hollywood? Yeah, he, he's, he, he's, uh, by then he was in LA. In Los Angeles. He's Los Angeles, California. yes. Right. Yes, yeah, that's okay. where their offices are based. He's okay. from uh, the, um, the host, uh, it's a media house called uh, the African Channel. I don't know if right. you know. Right, yeah, yeah. definitely I've seen it. Yes, yeah, so the African yeah. Channel, one of the, uh, them being the host, they pretty much have to gather all the, all the jurors uh, right. uh -huh. from um, uh, Africa, around the, Europe. Around the globe, yes, South yes. Africa. Yeah, so, uh, uh -huh. so he pretty much Googled. All right. Top, yeah, yes. Top, uh, top African actors. Actors. Yes, and 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 he followed that. And path. the universe clicked <laughs> yes. on Paul Ogola. Yes, so he boom. followed that path, <laughs> and that's how he he communicated uh, uh, with me via LinkedIn, actually. Uh, via LinkedIn. Yeah. Via LinkedIn. Yes. Right. Um, so, so it and I pretty much asked him, wait, is this a, is this real? And he was like, yeah, it's real. So. From then we made the communications and even uh, now st to start uh, to talk about how uh, traveling to the uh, to South Africa where the jury duty was happening right. and I got all the logistics. It's a self-sponsored trip. So right. I, I got friends who, uh, who, um, put who, in could, work for you know, yeah, who can just, you know, help me take care of, uh, you know, uh, some of these things. logistics, yeah. uh -huh. even uh, some family members. And yeah, I you traveled. I traveled and, uh, and uh -huh. we did the jury duties and I met all these executives and uh, I was the only actor actually. From Kenya? No, oh. I was the only actor. The only actor among the, the, the among selected the, uh, uh, jurors. Yes, I was the, I was the uh -huh. only actor. So it was, okay. uh, you know, executives and, you know, media house owners and we even uh, some of the people who run multi-choice, Disney right. Plus, uh, Amazon Prime. World they, class people, right? Yeah, yeah. And these are people who are coming from the States, you know, right, and, yeah. and, uh, for them to be jurors for semi finals for best actor. So right. it was all jurors, for, uh, it was jurors from all over the world. Okay. So, yeah, so I, I traveled and uh, immediately the senior director uh, for partnership and communication for, you know, the Academy of um, 
television arts and sciences, which right. is the Emmys. The Emmys, right. Yeah, it was, she was like, listen, we need you, uh, we, you must come to the States, you know, for the gala and the festival as a juror. And yeah. I was like, yeah. When is it happening? It's in November 18th to 21st. Yeah. The gala is on the 21st, Fast. the festival is 18, 18th to 20th. Yeah. And of course, a couple of lunches and dinners. Oh my goodness. Yeah. So, 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 so she invi uh, the academy invited me and um, I mean, the, in the process of, you know, actually just, you know, reaching out to friends and, right, uh -huh. you know, partnerships to pretty much take care of this, um, this, this trip. Because again, it is a self-sponsored self -sponsored trip. trip but and you need money. Yes, yes. I, it's the aim is, who can miss the aim is just because right. you, uh, you, you're broke or you don't have money. For real. Yeah, so I'm, I'm, I'm all out. I'm, I'm checking, uh, I'm really checking people and, you know, reaching out to, reaching you know, out to uh, people, Are you like the yeah. first Kenyan to be nominated yeah. for, for, for that? It's, yeah, uh, the I'm, first uh, East African. No, I'm, I'm uh, as an actor. Yes, I'm. Uh, I'm to be a juror. Yes, to I don't know any You're other. The first yes, one yes in but Kenya. there are so many other Kenyans who've featured on Emmys as nominee, uh, nominees. Let's say somebody like um, uh, Lupita. Lupita Nyong'o, right? Yes, uh, Jerry Mwangi. Sarah Hassan has featured. Sarah he Hassan. Worked, he worked also with her in Crime and Justice. No, as well. no, Sarah Hassan. No, it is uh, Larry Mado. Okay. With, uh, with a feature, if I'm not wrong, there's uh, Lupita with another uh -huh. uh, with another of her productions, and then um, my goodness, why am I forgetting about them? Yeah, Eddie uh, Gatengi, Jerry Mwangi with oh. her, with a feature about something to do with babies. Right. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, we are like f five or six tops who've been you know who've done some uh, something uh, at the Emmys. But as an actor, I'm the first one. Right. Yeah. I hope you'll meet the likes of Eddie Gatheghi and also Bro, meet Lupita Nyong'o. I'm, I'm looking forward to meet all these great people. Are you allowed to carry a friend? <laughs> yeah, uh, well, yeah. I have, uh, I've already, I've already, um, uh, through very lovely people, I've already secured the ticket and it comes with two complimentaries. Oh, two complimentary. So these two complimentary. Let house. me explain. <laughs> because <Please> do. <laughs> because you'll fix yourself in yeah, my man. ticket and, and then I'll be looking at that. you like... I don't want to take that L, man. Yeah. I don't <laughs> no, don't no, that it's L, not bro. an L, really. <laughs> but, you know, uh, we can play around with it. So these two complimentary tickets, yeah. it's for... One is for a luncheon and okay. the other one is for, for the festival. So All let's right. say if I travel with you now. Okay. That's if KBC takes care of my trip that I can travel with you <laughs> and then I give you one complimentary ticket. All so right. you will go in at uh, for the festival, but I won't, I, which is okay with me. Oh, you'll you, be okay? Yeah, you can, go, you can go in for the festival and the, because I still have the dinner. Then you just sit back? No, no, yeah, yeah, I'll just chill in the hotel and maybe, you know, hang around that place where you are. And okay. uh, yeah, so I, I'll sit back. And uh, because I have, I still have two tickets. I have the main gala ticket, which is now the Emmy Awards. The Emmy the, official. The, yes, the right. official one. And I still have the dinner one. So I'll still mingle with these people. So you can have right. that one. Oh my goodness. <laughs> From your mouth straight to the universe and yeah. God. Yeah. And, 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 and how, 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 has that, how, how has that reception or even the recognition been for you? How, how do you feel that, you know, you are on the map as well? Yeah. And uh, you're also the first actor to be, you know, be in that Jura, space yeah. as well. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it's, again, it's an Mentally achievement. Mentally as well? Are you excited? I'm, I'm very, <laughs> very excited. And uh, what really this means to me Right. And, and, and the purpose of, of why I do this, again, it's a, it's a goal achieved because, uh, you know, you can imagine me doing this yet I'm based in Kenya. Right. You know, like it, it's, it's one of those extraordinary things that I'm like, yeah, I've, 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 really, I've really shown to people who are practicing just like me that, listen, this thing is possible and you can be selected from any, anywhere in the world. So long as so long as you are doing you're doing it right and you're doing the right thing and you know all, and you're always connecting to uh, the man above so you right. it, it's possibility you know yeah. showing showing that possibility has been uh, something that I I hold so dear with me right. so even when I is get it also this, a mindset it is yeah. it is a very intentional thing you cannot guess it it's a very intentional thing that you have to you, you have to be doing when you're applying for things you know why you you have to get this thing because right. you know it, it's a light you're shining it's a path you're leaving those who are coming behind you 
you right, know. Too. So 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 for me to, to for me to have been chosen by God Himself to you know just show this path and walk it slowly, but very accurately. Right. And I try to every time post m most of these things on my uh, on social, social media, media so that when you scroll down to the first photo, you can right. see how it starts or yeah. how it started. It's a journey. It is a journey right. and you can yeah. see the trajectory and you can see my story and that's when, when, you, uh, when we meet and you ask me questions. Right. I pretty much I'm tying dots that you've been you've been seeing. You've been right. seeing, yeah. Yeah, so so like there's proof. It's, it, yes. it's a track record that it speaks is. for itself. It is. So right. so right. so I, I really I really encourage so many people who look at my story too. Please, when you see my story on social media, can you just swipe up to the first the ever first photo, first, yeah. or right. photo for, uh, of me, right. uh, uh, you know, posting and 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 get to see who that person uh, exactly. was right. and yeah. just scroll through uh, pole pole and try and you know try and cause follow the journey like yeah it, it, it's not magic it it's all never there happened, right? it's all there right. it's it, um years of you know uh, struggle right. trying to connect yeah. trying to know people because this is a country of you you, you need to know someone networking yeah. and how it did it work did it fail those are the questions now i can answer right. and, yeah. and 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 i, I pretty much I am happy to say that I have answers for all these questions. Amazing. That, yeah, uh -huh. that, that, that um, this path is so possible right. and it, it is so clear for each and every one of us. All it needs right. is time, yeah. patience, persistence, and prayers. Amen. For peace, yeah. Before, before we get to you, the top films that you have featured in, um, yeah. I'd just like you maybe to tell us about the money part because, you know, a lot of people watching back at home, they'll be like, hey, I want to be an actor. Mm. Can I just go to KNT right here, <laughs> audition, and maybe they'll cast me in the next, you know, big series, yes. or the next big film. When it comes to the money, everybody's concerned, and it's a constant question that I ask my guests on this show. Is it paying? Because that's literally the main business when it comes to uh, even talent as well. You, you, don't, you don't just want to act. Yeah. You don't want just to be a presenter. You want to make money off of it. So a lot of pilots will be like, hey, so I've been giving you fair to go for these auditions. <laughs> Where is the money they've paid you? Yeah. And for somebody watching back at home, would you convince them that this thing pays in as much as, you know, sometimes it's a little bit convoluted, yeah. but it has rewards? It does. It does have rewards. And it, before I even explain anything monetary, I just want to advise each and everyone who's out there. It is a long game. It's a long game. It is a long game. And oh. we, are, we are very fortunate enough that we can still practice, even at 80 years old, right. and still earn. Right. You get? So right. it's not, it's not uh, uh, you're waiting when you're learning. There's a certain destination where you're going and you'll be checking in you know, uh, you'll be cashing in huge checks. It's a long game. And, uh, and we know of very, uh, you know, senior people who are actually earning huge bucks out of uh, practicing this craft. Now the question comes, the question that can be posed there um, economically is, how do I get there? How do I get to be this, uh, this, this, this artist who, uh, who cashes in, you know, huge bucks? You have to work towards it. You have right. to have the skills, right. the discipline, the the the, the dream, the, the the dedication, the you know the patience, right. the persistence of yeah. always being disappointed and be like, you know what? Right. <sighs> I've fallen. Somebody will be disappointed once. Um, My goodness. Even before you get on any platform, there's always the noise that comes with it. Yeah. And so many guests that have been on this show, yeah. um, most of them have been headliners. And one thing that has been outstanding even from yourself that I'm getting is yeah. at some point you're told no. Bro. And as much as you're, you feel like you're the star, but you're told no. And yeah. you have to take the L and try again next time in the name of Aliyah, you know? I, yeah, I've been, I've, been, I've been told no even this year. Okay. Bro, like two months ago or two weeks ago. Were you auditioning? Yeah. I still go for auditions. All right. If I'm fortunate, fortunate enough for somebody to reach out to me and tell me, listen, Paul, we need you in for audition or send us a tape. I do send a tape. And, and I'm, I'm told no, and I'm like, well, it's fine. I'm used to this. Right. When I, was uh, when I, when I came to Nairobi, I remember for three good years, auditioning, rejection. Audi <laughs> no, aud yeah, of rejection in one group, one wow. theater group. I wanted to join Heartstrings Kenya, <laughs> but right. so bad. But then it was like, 
yeah the it Holy was like Grail yeah it film was, yeah, exactly of, of yeah. theater work right and 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 that was like the whole uh, the the uh, that was like the Hollywood of, of theaters. Of theater in Kenya. Yeah. Right. And I have to be here. Because look, on this stage you have Dan Dambuki, Churchill. Right. You have Larry Sego. Who's a household name yes. as well. You have Peter Marangi. You have right. the Aime Ongeso. You have Anton Indongo. You have Maino Luenya, the late. The late. These are the people you... Ah. Yeah, I really wanted to be on stage with these well, guys. Uh -huh. For three good years, I went uh, for the auditions and I was... Always told, uh, I was always being told, I will no. call you next time. We'll call it, no, yeah. and Victor Bear, Victor Bear uh, used to tell me that, you know, you, 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 you sit on the bench. Okay. So, yeah, for three years. And Did that, that is, break you or it encouraged you? Goodness, yes, at some point. I, I, it did, but it, I didn't give up, you know, and I was never even told yes either way. I, right. had, to, I had to force myself in. You know, so one day they were performing um, a show and within that show, I just went backstage and told the actors, listen, I want to create a mini scene w within your scene. I right. want to enter as a, as a different extra? car. Or yeah, or as an extra. an extra. I just want to pass. Ah. And, uh, and you people, you can react how you wish and then uh, let's see how it works. So now, that's after now three years of auditions. And, right. uh, and I'm now, a, 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 at least I had the opportunity to become a, a door person, you know, welcoming right. people. But I was like, I need to be there. Right. So when I w entered that stage on that particular day, the, the reaction was amazing. The audience loved it. And right. the director was like, ah, I never knew that was, uh, that, that was uh, something that was missing in that scene. Right. Keep it. And, and that's how I and entered Heartstrings. Yes. Right. That's how I entered Heartstrings and up until date. I'm still a, 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 a member of Heartstrings. You never look back? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks, thanks to, excuse me, thanks to yeah. Victor Bear and Sami Mwangi. Okay. I am who I am because, because they that. accepted that this, right. this kid has something. And right. they grew me, they, they grew me Nurtured to be. Nurtured you, mentored you as well. Yes, yes, and that's And that's here you are. Here yeah. I am, yeah. And speaking of that, uh, so, you know, facing rejection is, is not a good thing. Being told no, even even the biggest of the singers were told no. Yeah. And, uh, you know, they managed to hack it. Now, uh, when it comes to even the emotional part, the mental well-being of it, what exactly was your breaking point that you said? Because, you know, we cry. We yeah, cry we in this field. You cry very yeah. often, get yeah. used to it. What would you say, uh, this was my breaking point? And here as well, I was like, God, if this is not going to work, then I'm done. Or if it has to work, then yeah. I'm ready to put my life on the line yeah. as well. Well, first of all, I grew up old school. I grew, I grew up in CIA. So <laughs> hardcore, <laughs> life, hardcore life. I know about hardcore life. And, right. and, and uh -huh. giving, up, giving up was never an option. an option. But you can imagine that young person arriving at, you know what, maybe, it's, maybe I'm done. Because right. I, I really, I, I, I got You that. hit that rock bottom. Yeah, after Nairobi Half-Life. You know, when, when you've been trying and you've been doing things since 2008, right. and four years later, you know, because of our generation quick fix, you right. see, you're like, oh, Nairobi Half-Life has made huge impact and so, so much noise. So people are watching me out there and I should be, be uh, you know, booking work. Two years after Nairobi Half-Life, nothing was happening in my life. And I was like... Crickets. Yeah. And that's when I was like, <laughs> no, I don't think this thing is for me. So I quit acting. You quit? Yes, I did quit acting. And, 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 and I went to be um, a video editor and a voice, voice over art, uh, uh, artist. Or actor. Right. Uh, yeah, vo a voice over artist. So I was uh, the station voice for just uh, behind you guys here, Media Max, right. K24, mm -hmm. right. for like, uh, I think, a year. Okay. And then, uh, of course, Bill's came in came knocking in. and yeah. uh, I have to look for money. So I transferred from Media Max, went to uh, this Kikuyu station called Three Stones TV by Roski uh, Kimodo, mm -hmm. who was the pioneer for Media Max okay. and worked there for some months, if not a year, and then moved now to Protel Studios to become a full-fledged video editor. Editor. So oh. yes, I, I worked there and uh, acting, I was, you know, You're trying, like still washy, going back washy, to, yeah. Washy, yeah. yeah, still <laughs> going back to Heartstrings, doing my thing and uh, and go back to, you know, edit, because right. that's what was play, uh, paying my bills and the, and the money sounded reasonable. So right. I was an eight to five guy. Right. Like, for real, that's what I'm going to do. Until, 
2014 when Nini Washira okay Nini Washira who was uh, the casting director at the Kenyan side for Sense8 reached out right. to me uh, over email telling me that listen we've been looking for you for two weeks where have you been aware why am having to be you know returning our email and i was like uh, i don't check my emails because nothing good is coming from my emails oh, okay listen you need to come to ginger ink and audition for a role uh, called jella in a series called sense eight going, going on netflix i didn't yeah. know what the right. hell netflix yeah. was so right. i went for the auditions and i was told the same thing i've always been told you know we'll call you right so i went back to work did my thing and then forgot one forgot about it yeah forget about it that's the best way to deal with uh, with these auditions do your thing go back home like do your thing uh -huh. forget about it. it go back at yeah. home you've already done uh, done your things right uh -huh. so so i went back home and um, then i got a call back uh, listen we need you to come back and you know um, for a second round of auditions so i went i went out there for second round of auditions and they recorded it sent my tape to the, now the main casting and the director and the main actor right who but uh, was residing in LA by then i don't know if he still resides in LA but yeah uh, sent my tape there and uh, after some days or a week or two i was confirmed for the role it's nothing big for me you know i didn't know what netflix was i didn't know right. who uh, was behind this show but just for me to be told right. that it was uh, the wachowskis right the makers of the matrix right which is actually uh, it was a blockbuster it, it is i mean <laughs> what the makers of the matrix the matrix and yeah, yeah the matrix right. don't even believe it that's <laughs> when i psychologically i dropped everything else <laughs> and came back to my first yeah, love which yeah. is performance, performance and, yeah. and 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 you know invested myself into the character and through sensate all all these things that have been happening in my life right now Right. is attributed to that breakthrough because it exposed me yeah. to the world to the world like for real because through the sense like the mainstream space yes of, yes, of, yes. Of through sense yeah. i got to the united states uh, in hollywood right. i was at the uh, warner bros studios i met yeah. i met agents and they explained to me how they the trade works, and, works uh -huh. and and i experienced it how it is very impossible for any almost impossible for an actor based in Kenya to get work in the United in the States US, right. it is yeah. impossible for an actor who goes to the United States without papers right and get work right yeah so 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 i all i knew all this i knew all this and where to apply and things to do so yeah. that's why i got all this information and i i really pay a lot of tribute to right. uh, sensate and everybody who connected me uh, to the uh, to that project so right. it has been a, a it is a journey that every day i'm learning something You're learning something day, yes yeah I'm being told that we are out of time, but uh, uh, I love you to just tell people the lesson that you've learned and one thing that literally also keeps you grounded in this journey that yes. anybody back at home who's watching, um, they can look at and embrace. Yeah. And uh, maybe uh, as we expect you to go to the States, uh, what are some of the things we might expect after you're done with the Emmys and whatnot? So one lesson that you've learned and one thing that keeps you grounded even mentally as well. Well, uh, let me start with... Um uh, what I'm expecting when I'm going to the Emmys, I'm expecting to, you know, um, again, yeah. make sure... I'm told they have five seconds. Okay. Yeah. Put the stamp to, to the fact that posi possibilities is possible. I've already done it. And uh, uh, what I'm looking forward to is... Um, no, let me just give it this to the industry. Listen, um, after the Emmys, I'm, go I'm going to be a juror for the Out of Africa. I'm going to be a juror for Out of Africa Film Festival. Submit your, fi uh, your, your films... Go to my uh, Facebook, check the link, submit the films. If you need a promo code, I have it hit my inbox. I'll send it to you. And what keeps me grind, uh, grinded, listen, I, I'm a human being. I know the journey and I know where I'm going. So every day, all these are just goals. I'm not there yet, so I'll, I'm open to keep on working with people. And always, always partnership and collaboration. That's the key to, you know, just being great. Fantastic social media as we exit. Facebook, Facebook Polo Gola, Twitter, The Actor Paul, Instagram, P. Gola. All right. Yeah. Thank you so much, Paul. I wish Thank we you. would have had more time, but uh, definitely I'll be rooting out for you as you go to the Emmys. Thank you. I don't know if I'll, 
I don't know. We'll talk about that behind the scenes. All right, great. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you so much for hanging out with us. Thank, and thank you, you so, so much, much for, for your time. And great to meet you once again. Great. Pleasure. All right. Pleasure. Uh, right. Thank you so much. You have been hanging out with us right here on Entrepreneurship Tuesday. And we are talking about matters, the acting and filmmaking business. If you are an aspiring actor back at home, definitely you have learned something from this uh, gentleman's story and journey. You know, somebody I watched, I was in high school, and look, you know, miracles do happen. But thank you so much. Find us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter as well. Is at Y254 channel. Mines is at Brian Sako 101. Keep it, and you can plug in and continue the conversation offline using the hashtag Y in the morning. Many thanks for watching.